Hello guys, I wanted to share my own opinions on a topic, Lego vs. Megablocks. Now in my opinion, Megablocks is much better. You may think different, but I'm going to share why. First off, let's take a look at the minifigures, which is basically all we're going to be comparing. This is a Lego Iron Man minifigure. minifigure. This is a Megablocks Iron Man minifigure. The Lego one, pretty cool. Has some movements, you know. Pretty cool detail. Has a cool flip-up helmet, which is pretty nice, you know. Let me focus a little bit better so you can see a little better. So yeah, it's overall pretty nice figure. His arms can move up and down, you know, but his elbows and stuff can't move. This is like for this for all Lego minifigures. And the Iron Man figure, much better, like, a lot. He has his knees can move, his elbows can move, his neck can move, like a normal human person. This Lego minifigure is like a robot. This one is like a normal human person. This one is like completely flat, no detail. And yes, there's colors and stuff and like little lines, but like almost no detail. It's like completely flat. This one has indents. It contours to the real human body. I mean, you can't get much better than that. I mean, let's look at that. Hold on, let me focus a little bit more. There we go. I mean, actually, it goes inwards. The Air One is just flat, the Lego, but the Mega Blocks, it goes inwards and contours the real human body like it should. Has so much detail. Each, like, little line of detail is like an indent in the body, whereas the Lego is just a little painted thing. So, yeah, Mega Blocks is much better. And you may say, well, the Iron Man has a flip-up helmet, and Mega Bloks doesn't do that. Yeah, well, the Iron Man, this is like the only Lego figure that actually does that. So, yeah. I mean, yes, they do have helmets that can come off, like the Stormtrooper and stuff. He's pretty cool. Like, his helmet is kind of indented and stuff, like uh, Mega Bloks, but the rest of his body, not that good. Comparing to the Master Chief, yeah, Master Chief is awesome looking, has... Just looks like a real person. Looks like the real figure. Has complete indents in everything. And this thing, no, it's just like flat and no. It's horrible. Take a look at the guns. Lego does a pretty good job on the guns, I'll be honest there. But there's not a lot of detail and it doesn't look like a real the real thing, the real weapons and the thing in the MI movies and stuff. Mega Bloks' guns though are much better. I mean, look at that. Look at all that detail there. Looks like the real thing. It's really nice. And that's pretty much it for figure-wise. The rest I can't really show you, but... This is a Megablox block. You may think, well, no, Megablox is much better block-wise. see if we can find a Lego block here. Uh, hold on, do I have something here? Well, I can use this. It's so somewhat similar. It's not the same thickness, but still. Lego, Mega Bloks. Mega Bloks is more like plasticky, kind of. But it's still the same pretty much quality, even, you, even though you think it's not. It's actually really good. The only problem with Mega Bloks, though, is sometimes it won't. If you have big plate pieces, they won't go together. Either that or they keep pushing apart, they won't stay together correctly. But a lot of times, Mega Bloks' pieces snap in, and they don't come apart as easily as Legos. So in some ways, Mega Bloks pieces are better. In some ways, they're a little worse. But pretty much the same. And also, Mega Bloks pieces are better other ways. In it, they have the camel effect. See if we can find something. Um, this one you can kind of see doesn't have as much in it as some other things. But if I can find something, I'll show you. Hmm. Well, I can't find anything, but there is, it has like a camo effect, it's like mixed different colors in one block, and Lego doesn't do that, I don't think they do that, they might. So yeah, Mega Bloks is definitely a lot better than Lego, in a lot of ways. Please respond to this video, share your own opinions, and that's basically it. Oh, one more thing, I forgot to mention. Megablox also does give a lot more spare parts.
These are all the spare parts I've collected. And there's more than that, but from my Mega Block sets. They have a lot more spare parts than Lego, and their Mega Blocks is somewhat cheaper too. So yeah, anyway, please share your own opinions, comment on this video. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say, but that's pretty much it. See you next time.